My name is Thomas Jensen. I work with Hewlett Packard. I'm the Vice President for our worldwide channel business in the print and PC division. More flexible, much more agile and nimble by splitting the company into two. We'll have two entities, Hewlett Packard Enterprises, which will be led by our current CEO, Meg Whitman, focusing on our server storage network division, our software, our enterprise services. All our initiatives within big data, cloud, security is where we'll be focusing on the enterprise part of the business. Then we'll have HP Inc, which is our current print and PC division, led by Dion Weisler, our executive vice president for PPS today. And Mick Whitman will actually maintain chairman of the board for that new company. We will be focusing on the client part of the business, the print, the computing part, and really focusing on everything that touches the end customer, whereas the enterprise business is where we look at the more service and solution side of the business. So from doing that, we believe we can get much more customer focused, still leveraging the great foundation we've built over the past three years, and still cooperate as two independent companies and really service the customers in the best possible way. 3D printing is on everybody's mind these days and everybody's been asking us when are we coming out with a 3D printer. Where we are right now and last week we actually launched a 3D printing technology from HP PPS leveraging all the background we have from being a printing company over the past decades and really leading the print industry. We're looking at a technology that is leveraging our inkjet technology today. We're looking at our page wide array technology, bringing that forward. Our aim is to launch 3D printing technology that will solve the three key problems of 3D printing today. Everybody in the industry are having those same challenges. We're looking at cost to serve, we're looking at speed for 3D printing technology, and we're looking at the quality. It's very, very hard to do high quality 3D print and doing it in a timely fashion at the same time at a price that's affordable. This is what we're trying to solve. And we've decided strategically from HP, we do not want to launch a 3D printer until we can solve these three problems. So we're really focusing on the techno technological advancement there. That's what we launched last week, where we are, how we're driving that forward. And our aim is when we move into that market, we want to be a significant player in the industry, but we also want to have a commercialized product that would actually make sense for the business. Sprout is in our computing division, but, but is still looking at how we actually create new categories. 3D printing is a brand new category. That is where we invent for the future. Sprout is a new category that we launched last week as well, actually at the same time as when our 3D print technology came out. That's truly immersive computing where we have an all-in-one PC, touch enabled. We have a pad which gives you a different user interface. So you have a dual interface, one in front of you and one on your table. Plus we have a 3D camera uh, technology on top of that part. So that means you can scan, you can uh, create productivity, you can drive the, the various creativeness on that product. And it's really a unique product in that sense because it takes traditional computing and brings us to a totally new level. We're focusing on creative arts, we're, we're focusing on, on hobbies that, that want to create and really leveraging the fact that humans are built to build things with their hands. And right now a keyboard is not building things with your hands, so we're really making that interactive enablement with a, a totally new interface, application development and so forth. I think the conference has been absolutely fantastic. We have our top partners from across the Asia-Pacific region. It's a unique opportunity to interact with our partner community. The partner community is unique for HP. It's part of our legacy. It's more than 75% of the business we do across the businesses. And we need our partners to drive that business moving forward. For me personal, I'm capturing meetings with partners that would otherwise take me half a year to a year to accomplish. So it's a unique opportunity. Great.